Hi, my name is Dr. Max Chen. I practice anti-aging and regenerative medicine, and I like to teach people about how to stay young, healthy, and look attractive. And so one of the biggest trends of 2023 is going to be non-invasive body contouring and fat reduction. So I get a lot of questions about that. And generally speaking, there's two ways that you can achieve that, both of them temperature-based. You can either apply a large amount of heat or you can start to freeze body parts. Today here, I've got the ND Med Pro and this relies on heat. And so whenever you're using a heat-based device, you get to achieve two different very nice effects. One of them is skin tightening, and the other one is going to be some adipose reduction, some fat cell reduction. And so the reason that's important is because I get a lot of patients to say, hey doc, you know, I've got a double chin, I think I've got too much fat here, I've got too much fat in my upper arm, or wherever it is, and it turns out when you actually start to feel it, there's not a lot of fat in there, it's all skin laxity, it's all saggy skin, Skin, and the way to really make that look better and give the patient a younger appearance, a younger physiology, is by tightening that skin up. And you can do that with heat-based devices. The really nice part about the EndyMed is that you can go very, very, very deep. So even if you have thick skin or you're treating a thicker skin body part, the EndyMed can achieve that. It's very quick and the pain is minimal to none. You can do it repeatedly, you can do it any time of the year, and even if you're already on a weight management plan, certain weight management medications, you can do it simultaneously to really enhance your result. You can contrast that with technologies that rely on freezing body parts, and the way that that works is that fat cells are very temperature sensitive, so you can freeze them and they can die that way. The problem is that while fat cells are temperature sensitive, skin only reacts to heat, it doesn't react to cold. So if you use a cryo-based device over the skin, nothing's gonna happen, it's still gonna stay loose. So one of the most common and very reasonable question to ask is with the EndyMed specifically, how many treatments will you need? And infuriatingly, the answer is it depends on the body part you're treating, how big it is, generally speaking, what else you're doing in your life. Most of the time though, I will say that you'll start with six treatments over the course of about two months and then you'll take it from there to see if you need any additional treatments after that to achieve the result that you want. So after the treatment there might be about 20 to 30 minutes of some very slight redness over the treated area but other than that there is no downtime there are no real restrictions in your recovery other than eat a healthy diet, try to exercise, because of course you can eat your way back into the same problems that you had before. Because everyone has different goals, different body shapes, and different reactions to various treatments, if you're interested in a treatment like an EndyMed treatment, go ahead and visit your local EndyMed provider and see if you'd be a good candidate